everyone, what's up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So as you can tell from the title and whatnot, I'm gonna be talking about how not to look like a tourist in Germany or how not to dress like a tourist in Germany. I'm trying my best to word this properly, but I'm pretty sure it's completely wrong. I made a video titled What Not to Wear in Germany about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer than that, shorter than that, who knows. I'll link it up there if you wanna watch it. I caused a shit storm in the comment section because people said I was being so extreme. So I decided to make this video to try and pull everything together and maybe go in a little bit more detail and I guess depth about what I was talking about in my previous video. So yeah, being a tourist is not a bad thing. That's the first thing I guess I should start off the preface for this whole video is that being a tourist is not 1000% a bad thing. That means that you're traveling, it means you're soaking up new cultures, learning about how other people live, you're on vacation, you're happy, and you're living life. But when you are a tourist, there is a bigger target on your back for crime, kidnapping, pickpocketing, prostitution, fraud, all that good stuff can happen to you and might happen to you if you stick out like a sore thumb. Aside from, you know, crime and whatnot, because I don't want to make this video too dramatic and too, you know, negative. There are things like people not treating you like a native. Probably if you're a foreigner, if you're an expat, if you're living in Germany and you were not born in Germany, you're most likely not going to have the personality or the attitude of a German because that comes out at the womb, you guys. But there are some tips or some tricks and some things that you can do to make it very difficult for, I guess, native people in Germany to decide if you're German or not by what you wear. Because the first exchange you have with someone in a new foreign country is not when you speak, it is what they see and what you wear. Most likely you're not gonna 1000% pass as a German, but it's just to help you and allow for your experience in Germany and I could say in Europe in general be a better more enriching experience so yeah let's get right into it the first thing you guys which everyone talks about and that is no gym clothes no athlete leisure to go off on this a little bit more I know this is gonna be so mind-blowing for a bunch of people but leggings yoga leggings they aren't that common in Germany as they are in the United States I know a bunch of German people are gonna be like we wear leggings all the time actually German people do wear a bunch of leggings but they dress them up I honestly don't think you can disagree with me but a full gym outfit transitioning from day to night is not acceptable in Germany anywhere that I've been in Germany I know that a bunch of people are gonna be like well I wear my gym clothes I also wear my gym clothes sometimes out to eat or going shopping or something but I've never been in a situation where I felt I was comfortable enough to wear gym clothes from the morning up until the evening going out to dinner and then going to a bar or a club or something first of all and a lot of bigger cities a lot of bars and clubs nicer places will not let you in if you're wearing that kind of stuff if you want to wear gym clothes for me what I recommend is dressing it up with a nicer top and nicer shoes, nicer sneakers. If you love sneakers, trade in your nasty running track sneakers that you have, your gym shoes that are worn, have holes in them. Trade it out for, an, for a nicer pair of sneakers. If you are wanting to transition this look through, that will last you the whole day, bring a sweater, bring a blazer, bring a cardigan, anything that looks, I guess, decent. Now, a hoodie for me, a nasty hoodie that has stains on it, that has stuff peeling off, isn't going to look nice. And I know a lot of people are like, but I'm so comfortable. You can wear other things and be comfortable too and look presentable. I always say that if you want to dress casual, it's perfectly fine, but I want my casual to be able to be dinner wear as well. I'm never going to really crazy restaurants, especially when I'm traveling. Now, if you know that you're going to go to nicer restaurants, then you should pack a nicer outfit. But if you're just going for a normal experience and normal restaurants and normal lifestyle, then just a casual outfit is okay. The next point is going to be not too colorful. Germany is the country of neutrals and basics. I'm not calling Germany basic, but I'm saying that they are the home of basics. Do you know those shirts that you see that you have like in your closet and you know you can wear it with a pair of jeans, you can wear it with a skirt, it's white, 
it's gray, it's black, it's nude, it's navy. They go with everything. They're usually on sale anywhere that you go, any clothing store you have it. Those types of shirts, tank tops, whatever they are, you can usually dress up an outfit if it's basic and neutral, change the outfit completely. But if you start off with a colorful outfit, you can't really transition it and you can't make it into a different outfit. So let's say I'm starting with a black dress. Black dresses are easy. Now if I wanted to, I can make that black dress into a black dress with a sweater, black dress with sandals, black dress with a jean jacket. I could wear um, pants underneath the dress to make it a type of long sleeve jersey shirt looking thing. I could wear it with sneakers. There's just so many options that I can do and so many different choices when I have a basic one color outfit. Now if I have a colorful outfit with a bunch of different patterns, I'm only going to be able to wear certain things with it which also leads to you having to pack more so for me it's best to just not do too many colors and leave the colors for like shoes or if you have a belt or if you have a really nice sweater that you love that's a wonderful color that you want to bring then that's fine but don't make all of your outfits about crazy patterns and crazy colors the next point is going to be stilettos germany is a lot older than a bunch of places well than the united states everything's older than that. There is a lot of cobblestone. There are a lot of tram tracks. There are a lot of escalators. There are a lot of steps. Have you ever gotten your tiny, tiny heel stuck in the little escalator, I don't know, thing that's there, and then when it's going down, you're trying to get your foot up, and then you're coming through the claws of death at the bottom of the escalator, and your foot's not coming up, and then it eats the bottom of your heel. If that's never happened to you, it's happened to me in Germany before, my little stilettos that I thought I was cute wearing. I always think that sneakers are the best bet, nicer sneakers, sneakers that have like a little pizzazz to them. I think those are the best bets when you're, I guess, touring a city, not necessarily running shoes, but nicer sneakers or boots are really nice when going through the city because a they're durable they're sturdy they look nice they dress up a little bit but if you're really going if you really want sandals if you really want flip-flops or if you really want high heels I would say go with a kitten heel go with a fancier sandal or go with a nicer flip-flop because those eliminate the choices of having a stiletto but you still have a heel and all the options that I've listed can always be dressed up or dressed down stilettos usually cannot be dressed down in my opinion if you're wearing jeans with stilettos it all always looks too much in my opinion it depends on the event it depends on the situation but usually if you're just going out on the city to walk around and look at stuff I think that a kitten heel is more suitable than a stiletto and at the end of the day all the shoes that I've listed are safer to walk in more comfortable to walk in and easier to walk in the next point are going to be backpacks and bags this is like I guess a dead giveaway for tourists you can 1000% tell if someone's from a different place if they are having a backpack or a certain type of backpack this is always interesting for me you know a German and you can tell what a German backpack is there are certain brands and certain styles of backpacks that are very common but then you'll see people walking through with these humongous hiking backpacks in the city and you're just like that's a tourist they're not from here I enjoy wearing a crossbody instead of a backpack because backpacks are way too heavy for me and they're just too bulky crossbodies still keep your hands I guess free and for me they're a lot safer than a backpack I can keep a crossbody in the front I can keep it on the side they usually come with latches that are very hard to break into and it makes my outfit look a lot nicer usually if I'm wearing a crossbody instead of a backpack and also another little sub point for this one is that fanny packs are really in right now now, if you like fanny packs, if you have a trendy, fashionable fanny pack that you want to wear, guys included, I see more guys in Germany wearing fanny packs as well. If you want to wear that, I guess feel free to do so. I don't know when the trend is going to end, but currently, right now, the past year, and I feel like the next six months, fanny packs are going to be in. But I feel like it's a dying trend, so if you're coming to Germany and this video is like six months old, you might want to look and see if the fanny pack trend is still around. The last and final point, you guys, is going to be a trench coat and rain jacket raincoat whatever you want to call it I feel like this puts together an outfit and it really helps you not look like a tourist because the number one thing that tourists wear especially Americans are little rain jackets that you have that are down to the floor and they're just plastic bags they look like colorful plastic trash bags now for me there's one thing that I really love that I have that I will never ever get rid of and it probably makes me look like a typical American 
American and I don't even know what the technical fashionable term is for it, but it's this little plastic jacket that I can crumple up really small fit it in my purse, and then take it out when I need it if it's raining. I barely wear it, it's usually for when I go hiking. So I feel like this is somewhere in between German and American style, and it's bright pink. So you guys, you know what? This whole thing is just wrong because it's a bright pink plastic ring <laughs> <laughs> but I really like it and it's really convenient. That's why I bought it. It's really really convenient But yeah going back to the trench coat, which is the main point I guess for this when you switch up a hoodie for a trench coat all together You're going to have I guess such a I guess more put together look and you can dress up a trench coat You can dress down a trench coat. You can usually wear it with whatever you want. It helps with the undoubtedly which they're going to happen no matter what, changing weather conditions. In Germany, it will go from sunny one day to raining the next, to cold, 20 degrees Fahrenheit cooler the next day, and you'll be like, what's happening? Why is this happening to me? I think that's it, you guys. I hope this video helped anybody that might be coming to Germany, because I do actually get a bunch of messages about what you should bring, what you should wear, and all that good stuff, and it's very hard, very confusing to answer all these, I guess, comments messages that I get or be very repetitive about it I hope you enjoyed it like I said just take it with a grain of salt and remember I'm not a fashionista nowhere near one my fashion is like probably null comma null or five negative five below the fashion line so yeah hopefully you guys as I said enjoyed it thank you for watching give it a thumbs up if you like me hit the subscribe button love you guys and bye bye